Hello ka fam! Isang araw, isang pahina ng aming buhay. This video will share about a fruit na marahil hindi alam ng karamihan. Today, we woke up not very early in the morning. It's a beautiful sunny day though. But before we move on, we will have a sneak peek of a hobby that makes Nana and Claire busy nowadays. Gardening. We only have few plants for now but planning to plant more. This is one of them, but we will make another video about it next time. Now it's time to go back inside and do what we have to do. Ano nga ba ang tawag sa mahiwagang prutas na ito? You heard it right! Tinaguri ang isa sa mga medicinal plant ang miracle fruit or calabash. You can see it right too. A coconut-like fruit sa isang maliit na puno. Marami ito sa Mindanao and few in the Visayas and Luzon. It can grow as big as a human head and weighs 3 to 8 kilograms. It was accidentally discovered long time ago that it can be turned into a juice with healing wonders as the old fox presented. Itinanim lang din ng papa ko ito sa aming bakuran without even asking what it is until it grew to something like this medium-height tree with huge fruits that makes its branches bend down. See the size of its fruit compared to an adult and child. Tulad nyo, kami ay nahihiwagaan din sa prutas na ito. Kaya sa unang beses, samahan nyo po kaming i-harvest ang miracle fruit at ating tikman. Hindi po ako expert sa pag-harvest ng prutas, kaya gumamit lamang ako ng kutsilyo para ito ay mapitas. Pagkalipas ng isang minuto, nakuha din namin. Eto na siya! At dahil medyo matigas ang balat nito tulad ng buko, dapat itong gamitan ng itak. At dahil wala kami nun, lagari na lamang. Hindi uubra ang kutsilyo para ito ay mabuksan. Para sa malalakas na tao, pwede itong mabuksan ng madalian pero it took few minutes before we finally had to cut it into two. It smells strange. Smells lighter than durian but can be tolerated. Alam naman natin kung gaano katapang ang amoy ng durian. Mukha itong guyabano na may maliliit na buto, malambot ito na kahit bata ay kayang-kayang kudkurin.
unti-unti na din itong naglalabas ng kanyang katas, medyo malangkit, and it create bubbles. Bago natin matapos ang pagkudkod, pag-usapan natin ang di umanoy binipisyo ng miracle fruit. Ito daw ay nakakapagpatalas ng isip, nakakaalis ng stress, nakakatulong sa pagtulog ng maayos, at magandang pakiramdam pagkagising. Ito din daw ay nakakapagpaganda ng kutis at nakakatanggal ng sakit ng puson ng mga babae habang may regla. You can make most of it kasi makukuha mo lahat ang laman nito hanggang sa ang balat na lamang ang matitira. Ganito na siyang tingnan pagkatapos. Now it's time to extract all the possible juice from it. Maglaan ng malaking kaldero to provide enough space for the residue and juice. Takpan ng kaldero at isalang sa medium heat. Check it frequently to avoid burning it. I was honestly surprised that it's slowly turning into black after a few minutes. Leave it for a few more minutes to boil, do other chores, or sit outside and enjoy the beauty and fresh air under this miracle tree. Pagkatapos ng mahigit kumulang 20 minutes, Parang uling na ito kaitim at ito na ang palatandaan na pwede na itong salain. Have a look how black it is. Pagkatapos salain lahat, makakakuha ka ng mahigit kumulang sa dalawang litrong Miracle Juice sa iisang prutas pa lamang. Disclaimer po, hindi ako mahilig uminom ng alak or unusual fruit juices pero para makompleto natin ang ating Miracle Fruit Experience, titikman natin ito. Medyo kinakabahan how will it taste but willing to give it a try. Tulad ko, pihikan din si Claire sa mga inumin. Nagtuturuan pa talaga kami kung sino ang mauuna. Oops! I guess it didn't taste good for Claire. Now it's my turn. It gives me the initial taste of a tea. Then, a bit of sweetness and aftertaste of wine without the alcohol, of course. I guess it will taste better with several cubes of ice. To generalize, it tastes like a mangosteen juice or wine. Pasensya na po talaga sa aming reaksyon. Marahil dahil hindi talaga kami mahilig sa mga ganitong inumin. Our experience might not be the same to yours. So we will still encourage everyone to try Miracle Fruit Juice. I believe meron na ding mga Miracle Fruit in a bottle na mabibili sa mga local stores. Pero isang paalala, Miracle Fruit doesn't have approved therapeutic claims and it is still best to consult medical advice if feeling sick. Ganun pa man, knowing this fruit tree reminds us how rich our country Philippines of natural and miraculous wonders. We hope you can have your own glass of the Miracle Fruit juice as well. 
Cheers, everyone, from Nanai and Claire. Thank you.